Coach, I mean, this week just continues unbelievably successful for you and this team. I'm not even going to ask about anything with halftime because, like you said yesterday, your team is not a nervous team. But one of the differences that I was just documenting was the second half where Bennett did not make a single three-pointer, and it looked like they were trying to rely on that shot quite a bit, even though they did go down inside. I mean, did you feel with a 10-point deficit at halftime going into the third that the flow of the game, even though you had a bad second quarter, was still in your favor and you can come back and win this game? Well, I knew they couldn't keep shooting the way they did. And so when we were down only 10 this half um, compared to 15 last night, I was actually pretty darn happy again. And uh, I knew our kids would come around. We, I mean, they just shot lights out in the first half. And uh, I just had that feeling that they would start easing up on that shooting percentage, and they did. And we, we rebounded real well again and, and uh, did things we needed to do to win the basketball game. You know, it's amazing because... It was just three days ago, three nights ago, that you said, well, we need to work on free throw shooting. Bennett, 7 out of 13. Your team, 23 out of 26. Doesn't mean that you don't need to work on it, but tonight, obviously, that was huge for your team. Well, I, we, we've been blessed with good free throw shooters. We work hard at it. So at this point, the last couple of games, we didn't shoot very well. So I thought we brought him tonight because we needed every one of them. And, uh, I, I, we, you know, we're in better shape, I think. Our, our, right now, we're in top physical condition, and I think that mental condition, too, and that helps down the stretch. Coach, do you feel now that you have an 11-11 record, but you're not in a position now to be a sleeper? Every team now has to respect you because you pulled off three of five victories against incredibly talented teams. Some people say they could contend for the 3-8 title in a Bennett and, of course, in a Valley, and you'll have Platte Valley tomorrow night. How much better do you think Platte Valley is than Bennett and Valley, or are they all in the same mix as is your team? I, I think... They're, I think Bennett and Platte Valley are probably the, in the top ten, certainly, and Platte Valley is the number one team in the state. Um, Bennett is so good underneath. They're good outside. Um, they play great defense. And it, it, sometimes these games come down to will and desire and the, the ability to survive. And right now, our team has that. And I, I like the way things are going. We, as long as kids keep playing hard, we'll be successful. Now, in the first game against Platte Valley, Jason Smith went off 31 points, 19 rebounds. But you didn't have Bryson Miller, so they were able to operate well inside. In the last game, it was basically that outside game of Adam Cheney with those 13 threes. So considering they were so good inside in the first game, so good outside, at least with one player in the second game, is there a true way to defend them? Or do you say, like you did tonight, hey, Bennett can't shoot that well the entire game and hope that Platte Valley doesn't shoot that well tomorrow night? Well, I think if you make teams beat you from outside, I think you have a better chance to and, and especially in turn, tournament time, it, it's about fundamentals and getting the ball to the big guys. And the team that does that the, the most usually is one that's successful. So we're going to play them the same way we did last time. No secrets. Jay, it looks like you've paced yourself emotionally better tonight that uh, after last night you feel a little bit better. I mean, are you still overcome by what's happened the last two nights the whole week? The, the whole week has been just a, a, it's been chaotic and uh, it's been a great week for me and, and for the kids and then for my family. So... I'm feeling better. I don't know why, because probably the adrenaline rush. Overtime, I mean, I was going, oh, man, overtime. Can we get a shot to go in before this? But uh, I tell you, we, we took, him to, took it to him in the overtime, and I, I actually feel refreshed. Now, I hope I go home and sleep tonight. I, I didn't sleep at all last night, and uh, I miss my wife because she's sleeping with a baby right now, and uh, I just love her to death. But I can't wait to get home and talk to her. Jay, congratulations. We'll do it again tomorrow night against Platte Valley. Thanks, John.